Hello, it's me, Ariza Gaming. I'm back after a very, very busy day. Uh, we're back with some more oxygen not included. We uh, wrapped up doing the puffed stuff yesterday. So the puffs are busy multiplying as they do. And now we're going to get to geotuning our metal volcanoes because I've been talking about doing that for a while. So <clears throat> before I forget as well, uh, there's still a spore kid here that we're trying to deal with. So I think, yeah, I think I positioned these all so they should all get done pretty quickly. That's good. There's a polluted oxygen vent that we tried to get handled. So the game just loads. Yeah, there we go. So there's a polluted oxygen vent over here. <laughs> this is erupting in this room, which is sealed by this natural liquid flow that ended up happening. Uh, we're pumping the gas out, and it seems to be pumping fairly pure, even though there's a few little gas pockets up here. It doesn't seem to be causing any issues. Uh, we're trying to get some chlorine in this room uh, for the squeaky puffs when they arrive. We currently have one regular puff to one puff prince. Uh, they're trying to get as much slime lung as they can get their hands on. <laughs> we did try and get all the germs out of here. That hasn't ended up happening, but to be honest... There's very little germs in the actual air because there's so little air in here. So maybe they will all die off on their own. I guess we'll see. And then we're dumping regular oxygen here as well. Just excess from the spawns, etc. So that's all going in this room. It looks like the single blob of polluted oxygen of what was in here has gone away. Uh, some regular oxygen has appeared in here as well. I'm not sure how that happened. Clearly a blob. A, a blob. A blob got let in, <laughs> let in here at some point. Help if I could talk today. But the main source of polluted oxygen I wanted was to pour a load of polluted water in here. Now we don't actually have a huge amount of polluted water. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to collect whatever's over here. And we're going to dump it this way. And I guess I'll just vent all the other non-chlorine gases out here. Because uh, the intent is that the chlorine is going to get stuck in this bit and then it's going to end up down here. So let's see. If we remove that, then you can climb down here as well. I do not care about the slime at all at this point. You probably figured this out. Then you can go in here. Uh, we want this gold as well. Definitely want to just collect all this gold. So let's just come in here. And then I think we just lower it down like this. Except, let's leave that one there. And then I think we just collect all of this as well. A little bit of sulfur over here. Yeah, just dig all of this out. I mean, we literally have the chlorine vent erupting right over the top of it. So I don't think it's actually going to matter. Yeah, there you go. They can grab all that. That sounds good. Looks like we have a very small amount of salt water being annoying. I guess we can just dig this. That doesn't really matter, does it? Probably not. Yeah, that seems good to me. And then... In fact, you know what? I'm just going to... 
Party 9 sweep this. Look, the salt water is holding back this entire tub of polluted water at the moment. Liquid physics, go burr. So when we're done with that, I guess we'll get a liquid pump and we'll put it over here. Oh, uh, we actually need to make a room to a way to get into this room, don't we? How about you do this? And then that can just take a regular pipe that can go up here. It doesn't really matter which way this goes. But it's not like we're going to start doing stuff neatly on this run now. Just to spite everyone. Okay. So we'll just vent the polluted water here. We'll just form a nice layer. Uh, there is carbon dioxide. Um, I'm hoping it's going to go. We've also dug up a lot of bleach stone. Are we putting all the bleach stone everywhere? Keep filling this room with more spore kids. Uh, we got some broken ammo suit docks that seem to be getting lots of the wrong gases. We've got lots of polluted oxygen in our spawn because we forgot to close it up. Okay. So that needs to be priority nine. And so is that. We ended up getting polluted water in this pipe some now. I still haven't figured out how that's actually been happening. Eh, yeah, whatever. I don't care, we'll fix it eventually. So the geotuning device. So this needs to be wide enough for five... Five steam turbines. And then the whole apparatus. So let's start actually planning that out. Because I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is it's going to go over here. And I am going to insulate all of this. It's important that we keep the heating and the cooling in this room. So I can go there. Uh, this is going to be where we have the steam turbines. So it needs to be three high. Okay, so a 25 wide section is needed. And this is just for this specific build. You could build it differently if you want, but this is how I like to build it. So right where that bend is, just come in... Do it like that. And are we going to fill this room with gas? No, I think we'll just fill it with liquids. So I think we'll just cover it up here. But in that case, close that off. And then we won a... I think we can fill this all with metal tiles. So, eight tiles. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. And then I can go down here. Who's idle? You're idle. Uh, yes. I forgot to give you a way out of here. How about a sedimentary rock ladder? That'll do, won't it? Enjoy. Uh, priority eight. Let's build a power wire and all this stuff as well. I don't know why my voice is hoarse today. I haven't talked to anyone. There you go. It's like more suit docks are breaking. I think that's fine. Quinn, you need to get some uh, leg training. Leg day needs to happen. I think... We're still getting polluted oxygen in this one. I think there is still a little bit just hanging around in this room. I think we got most of it, though. Uh, it is occurring to me that we're probably dumping slime lung germs in here if we're dumping polluted oxygen here. Not that I can... Yeah, there's a little bit. I mean, we do have the wheeze warts generally removing some of it. Also, uh, there's no real radiation from space coming in, so that's not going to <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. I'm not overly fussed, to be honest, at this point. Uh, this could be priority 8. You don't need to 
super rush this. Then we'll build this bit down here as well. We are going to need to get all the gases out of these rooms. So I'll start doing the layout in insulated tiles of all the different chambers. And then I think we'll just tile everything in. I think that's the plan. Yeah, we'll just tile everything in and then have a vacuum that way. Um, oh, but how are we actually going to keep it a vacuum? That's a very good question. How are we going to do that without any liquid shenanigans? Nah, I don't think we do that. I think we just put a gas pump in there and we automate it to pump out all the rooms. We leave gas in the steam turbine room because we don't need to worry about that. Now this automation wire, that is going to this transformer which is going to natural gas pumps. So that needs to go out of here. So I'm just going to send it um, this way. That one could be a priority nine. There you go. I feel like most of the gases at this point aren't chlorine. We're just dumping a load of polluted oxygen onto the map. It's probably fine. Yeah, gases seem to be all sorted now. Only thing being, the gas pressure is not very high at all. We need more polluted oxygen for these puffs. Are they going to start starving? I don't think they are. Last time I checked, their calories were lower than this. So I think even though they're eating all the time and they're eating very little, they are technically happy and they are technically reproducing and technically not starving. So that's good. Looks like we have two puff legs. So this is the one that's going to fill up first. And then you're going to lay the uh, dense and squeaky puffler eggs. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, it looks like... So we've got most of the blue oxygen out of here now. It's good. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we're literally just going to spread out polluted water across this whole bit. And then it's just going to off gas. And the longer the area, the, the more it will off gas. And what I'm thinking is eventually we seal this off and we let it spread out over here as well. Oh, there's more polluted water in here too. Let's dig this out. So one of my Zebradanios has had a bit of an issue recently. I thought it was like a swim bladder issue. I put it in I put it in a mini tank with some swim bladder medicine and they don't seem to have improved. But that's okay. They're still eating and they're still sort of hanging out with the other fish, so I'm not that concerned. Uh that'll do, I think. No need to go overboard. And this needs to go here. And then all that polluted water can come out. You can dig this here. Okay. What else are we going to do? Steam turbines up here, probably. But I want to get this automation wire done before we start powering anything on. I don't think the orientation matters too much. Where's this power wire going? That is going to the natural gas generators. So these are going to need to go on their own line. So I think what we do is... Again, that one's going down here. So I think what we actually do is we just send it around this way. And then we get it to be up with the other wire.
Yeah, do that first. It's flooded. The smart battery is flooded again. Okay. Did you actually block this off now? You have. Okay. That's fine. So now I think you can actually sweep out all this crap. So here you go. Fun. Then maybe eventually you'll start geotuning these. Actually, you don't have very much bleach stone, do you? Yeah, I don't think you have access to any bleach stone. There's none on the map. So if we were going to geotune that, we'd have to import it. Or make it with a bleach stone hopper. Oh no, there's bleach stone over here. I'll get you to dig all of this up now. There you go. There's puffs over here, but we need to uh, grab their eggs and send them over. That is the plan. Biobots are helping out. How many biobots do we have now? Let's see. Uh, domesticated critters. It says three. I think it's just bugged. We definitely have more than three. I've seen more than three on one screen at some point. So why did you just get machinery points from doing a farm? And... Now that I think about it, we probably shouldn't be fertilizing these because I think we were producing more than we were actually even using. Fracking stocks are going quite well. Yeah, we can hear those dudes everywhere. Right, let's have a look at the finished build and see what that looks like again. Oh, I should actually post a video of what I'm building, shouldn't I? I mean, it's going to be slightly different because we're going to actively cool it rather than self-cooling it. But here you go. This is my self-powered phosphorus refiner. Although, I think it should still be self-powered even if we are actively cooling it because the extra cooling will just come out onto the phosphorus. But I guess we'll see. I don't normally do it this way. But yeah, we'll need a lot of aluminium tiles. So it's a good thing we made a lot of aluminium from our volcano. So these can all go over here. We have one up here as well. And then one over here and an insulated tile here. Um, I don't think I'm going to put this one in yet. I think we'll leave that for now. This one can go over here. In fact, maybe we just put a ladder in here for now so you can reach this. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Um, we'll want to put some aluminium tiles over here. That's fine. This can all be aluminium tiles as well. That can also be an aluminium tile. Um, I think we'll leave that one out as well. I'm going to leave all of them out so that we can actually navigate the entire area and pump everything out. So we're going to have to figure out where we're actually going to put a gas pump. Where are we going to put gas pumps that uh, we can leave them in the design when they're finished? I might even... Yeah, I might even just put them here. I'll make these out of steel. We have a lot of steel now, that's good. So I should be able to leave them down here without any issues. So we can literally uh, vac steal the area off, vacuum it out and get it operating. Hopefully without bringing a dupe in. Because if we have to re-vacuum this room, that's going to take a while. Right, so let's see. That wire is done, so now I need to remove this. I need to actually disconnect most of this wire. So that one's going to stay, but this is going to go. And then this bridge is going to go here. There we go. I don't think I overly care about any of this either. You can remove this if you feel like it.
Okay, uh, we can remove the... Can remove the ladders. That's fine. Can remove this one. We want this room to be full of a conductive gas. So we want to fill this separately with hydrogen. So we're going to want to put a vent in here and hook up a hydrogen pipe at some point. Um, yeah, we'll leave those tiles for now. So you can get in here and build everything. Let's just build all of the... Hmm, what order do we start building all of this in? Wait, you're idle? Why are you idle? Oh, you need to build all this. Oh, okay. Well, that's funny. Uh, let's party nine these. Anyone gonna actually get around to doing that or are you guys just trapped? Actually, if I just remove this for now, you can get out of here. It's probably for the best. There you go. So let's see, that automation wire as well, we can just remove all of this. It's absolutely fine. Now, these are going to be running at hopefully 125 degrees, so they can all go into one power transformer. There is a free one, I believe. All the way down here. <laughs> There's two free ones. I'm gonna do something naughty. We're gonna um, we're gonna go this way because I feel like it. Hey, at least we space these out far enough. We can actually fit wire bridges in here. This is, this is absurd. But one conductive wire should be enough. Because it's going to generate about 1,350 watts when it's running. I can go there. And then this one can go over here. And then I'm going to need you to put a load of bridges on here again. Okay. So the other thing I like about the biobots is they actually work during the night. So we do actually get a bit more night shift work going on. Let's actually go see how much... How many spores we're producing. It looks like this is filling pretty quickly. Yeah, it's still filling at a rate of about 8,000. 8,000 a second, which is about 80% of the maximum rate you can get on this. The biobots are the ones actually filling this thing with lumber, which is funny as well. How's the gas situation looking? That's fine. I think the pop printers will breathe in random gases from the other two rooms anyways. I don't think there's any gas being transferred over here. I think we're all good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we got loads of canisters. We've got loads of canisters of oxygen over here. People not been doing this. You need to release those. Um, oh, these are set to priority one. I guess we're going to set to priority nine. Just slowly disperse the oxygen out. Now, are you actually going to repair these? Let's actually just get them to auto repair these. Looks like people are still putting their suits in them, even if they're not recharging. That's interesting. So this 
pipe is just going to be for getting rid of all the gases. So I think we just stick it over here. And then stick a high pressure vent on this. And then that wire is going to producers. So we don't want to connect this to that one. What about this one? It's also going to producers. I already figured this out. Um, we're going to be sending a consumer wire this way anyways. What about this one? It's got an aqua tuner on it. I think if we connect everything except for the aqua tuner in here, that should be fine. There's not actually too much that needs powering in this build. So I think this is fine. So that can just go like this. These dupes are getting on with stuff fairly quickly. What was the thing I told you to do? Those bridges. Okay, that's good. Cut those off. Yeah, there we go. Who's who's napping? You are narcoleptic. That's fine. Some random polluted water up here. Okie dokie. So much random natural gas over here now. So what metal volcanoes are active at the moment? The bleh, the copper volcano is active at the moment. Iron volcano is going to activate soon. Aluminium volcano is going to activate soon. Gold volcano is dormant. How's this room going? Yeah, this is pretty cold now. The sulfur is gradually cooling down. Um, we've almost got everything out of this room that is not sulfur. So then we start actually taking the sulfur out. How are the grub grubs and sweetles doing anyways? We haven't really paid attention to them recently. We've got six grub grub eggs and we've got two grub grubs now. Nice. I think that is gradually working and nobody is bothering with the sludge presses. Everyone has way too many errands. I do want you to get rid of all the oxygen though, so please keep filling these up. Looks like you repaired all these docks, that's good. Why are these not running? Because we're not actually getting any water to them, because... Our water pump is no longer running. Okay, so... This is running. So that should be dumping salt water to the volcanoes, but none of them have been erupting. We don't have any other water that we were going to send over here, do we? There's a fairly large amount down here, to be honest. Uh, you know, with literally everything else. I have got to sort out all these random liquids. I mean, the cool steam vents have been going on and off. We know we knew about that. Not the other ones. Are you actually going to do this at some point? No, because you still can't access this. Right, I think we need to do some ladders here. And then you can actually sort this out. It's taking too long to actually get rid of the zombie spores on this. That's all set to priority 5. Let's make this uh, priority 9, I think, because I do want to make sure our puffs are multiplying. Which eggs are you laying again? You're laying puffed eggs. Okay. Well, I guess we'll know when we get a non-puffed egg. Where's the... So here's a cool steam bed. Am I actually just going to dig all of this stuff out? I mean, how do we even get across here? I feel like we used to be able to access this and now we've just sort of decimated the whole area. That was the wrong button. Yeah, we uh, can't really get in here anymore. 
And it's just a mix of random liquids elsewhere. Hello, Zipper Forest. I'm doing all right. I'm very busy with work at the moment, but it's okay. I was the ethanol. I think the ethanol is behaving at least, so that's good. Uh, we're just going to keep digging out more pathways for liquid. I'm a little concerned that literally none of these volcanoes are erupting. Yeah, that one's dormant. That one's dormant. That one's dormant. This one's idle. Is there a fifth one? Yeah, this one. That one's also dormant. We've got a rare case where all of our water sources are dormant. That's very funny. What's up? Hello, B the Quest. How you doing? What are you up to today? We're doing oxygen not included. Ooh, a wart seed. Let's take a wart seed. I always want more of those. Our base is doing pretty well. We're on cycle 560. We uh, kind of don't have any water coming in at the moment because all of our water sources have gone dormant at the exact same time, which is kind of wild. We're doing good just waiting for your 100 only mods to load. Fair enough. Yeah, I have a few only mods. Uh, let's see. I'm going to disconnect this wire because we don't want these to start pumping until we've exited the room. Now, there's temperature plates as well. We want to build a load of temperature plates. So those can go in now. I wanted to build them out of something conductive like diamond. How much? We don't have a lot of diamond and there's a lot needed. Do we get them to dig out all the diamond everywhere? How much diamond is left to dig? I suspect not very much. How much diamond was there to begin with? Yeah, it's a miscellaneous. Have we really just systematically consumed all the diamond on this asteroid? Oh, yes, we have. We built all these tiles. Oh, okay. Um, that's on me. So, what else do we have? We have... We have aluminium, but that's like all the aluminium. That would take like, what? 40 temperature plates? I don't really feel like doing that. We don't have very much glass. Um, perhaps we just do granite or rock or something. That being said, we're actually running out of granite as well. I think the material is not so important as just putting it down. So let's just make them out of granite. <laughs> Mamma mia, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a fairly um it's a fairly um common material in the oil biome, but you do eventually get through it. Actually, yeah, let's make it out of granite. So these ones are gonna go. Let's see. I believe this tile is actually tile. Or it's supposed to actually be tile. So remove that. Biobots just chilling. Nice, nice. We have a lot of biobots running around, and they seem they seem to be having trouble deciding what to actually do. But we need all of these, but they need to be a level lower than that. So just those ones, please. Yeah, there we go. And then this bit all needs to be temperature plates as well, except for this one, which is going to be a tile. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I could put an insulated tile here, right? No, because then you're not able to climb around that. Well, you build all the aluminium tiles now, so I'm not so concerned about that. So I think you can do that. <laughs> uh, so what are you up to in your uh, saves then? What have you got going on? So we've got unpermitted food. Nisbet. Nisbet wants to eat the raw food and she's not allowed. You did sweep up most of the liquids though. Good job. So Nisbet, you're allowed to eat everything again. Because you're on this planet. Why are we running out of power? Because that battery still hasn't been swept. So I think all I need to do is dig this out. Ladder down here. And then... I think we can sweep this already anyways. It's only the recreation buildings are on that wire, I think. So it should be fine. 
You have a world with a cheap mod because you just like building and working my interplanetary colony. Fair enough. There's no real wrong way to play a single player game. That's absolutely fine. We're slowly covering this volcano in brine to hopefully boil it. And it looks like most of the polluted water has run out from over here. That's interesting. Uh, we're trying to build a massive machine that we're going to use to turn all of our phosphorite, our excess phosphorite, into refined phosphorus. And then we're going to start geotuning all the metal volcanoes so that we can boil more salt water. And this is a build that we uh, had on the YouTube channel. So once again, the link to the video is here. And we're also just waiting for our puffs. Uh, we have a puff branch complex down here. This should all work properly. Uh, looks like we're getting a little bit of regular oxygen here. I don't think that's a problem. I think that's all eventually going to go away because it's not being replenished. I think that's fine. And it's just taking a bit of time. Uh, we're on speed one. I do not think it is really worth going any faster than speed one with this many dupes and this much um, this much pondering. You're working on your eight volcano colony, getting all the geothermal tamed. Nice. Approve of a nice salt water boiler. I've got into habit of always using those. I just need to figure out a way to cool the output water better. Yeah, because at the moment, what we have, we have a load of aqua tuners in series, but the issue with this is that they're all on different sensors, so what will often happen is the water will go around the loop once and then it will come out at like sort of just below or just above the threshold where it should be going into the base. And then they all deactivate apart from one which sends the packet through. So to be honest, we're getting about two aqua tuners of regular uptime on this, which I think is fine, but it could be better. I think the long term plan is we're going to expand this all the way out over here we're just going to keep plugging these in. We're going to add more transformers here for the thermo aqua tuners. Oh, we got a puffed. Hold on. Hold the phone. Grab you. In fact, I'm going to yell alert, grab you. You're a bit old, but you should still lay an egg. It's probably worth doing. It's the same problem you have with it. Yeah, because I, I, I feel like we may have solved this on Rhyme Revenge. We had a very complicated system where we had a load of bypasses, and I think it actually worked. That series is on YouTube. But I can't guarantee that it actually worked. <laughs> I seem to remember vaguely positive things about it. Uh, let's start filling these rooms. So we know that we're going to need an aqua tuner in here. This is going to heat up all of the refined, uh, all of the phosphorite ore that's coming in. And just to briefly explain the principle behind this machine, the phosphorus, the refined phosphorite, no. Let me start again. The phosphorite ore from the Drekos is going to come in here cold. It's then going to go along this conveyor belt up here, uh, counterflowing against liquid phosphorus as it's coming down here. Because when the phosphorite ore melts into liquid phosphorus, its heat multiplies by about five. So you can actually use the liquid phosphorus to preheat all of the incoming phosphorite ore. And then you just have to cool it down. And the process actually generates almost enough energy to power the thermo aqua tuner. Which is nice. So that aqua tune is going to have to go onto a different wire. Um, which is probably not one of these. I think we're going to have to build some more transformers up here. I don't really want to because that's where our cold oxygen is supposed to be. But I don't think we have a choice. So we're just going to expand this all the way up here. And we'll uh, move all of this I guess. I, th I think another two of each will probably do for now. And then just remove the ladders. Um, let's see. Cancel these ones. We'll put the heavy watt wire spine through here. Heavy watt conductive wire. Oh, Jesus. Right. That was not very well thought out. I, I knew this was going to happen at some point. So that wire needs to go up here. I feel like this map is just becoming spaghetti at some point. Like that party nine. So this wire is going to have to go around all the other wires. So I guess for now it's just going to go up here. And then down here. 
Yeah, like that. And then that means I can remove this wire from here. Yeah, it's already a pasta party. Uh, so I'm starting a new run tomorrow. We're going to start Frozen Forest. People have been a lot more decisive on YouTube today. So that's going to start tomorrow. And we're going to try and be very neat and tidy on that run. Because I know we're being super messy on this run. You're not... Yeah, you're not drowning. That's good. I presume someone is going to come grab you. Let's just double check that. It'll be this one. Uh, I'm going to yellow alert this briefly. So, Quinn, you can go grab this dude. Then what else are we up to? I think we just have to wait for that wire to be done before we can do the rest of this. Uh, we know batteries are going to go over here. Um, they are actually going to be steam turbines. What in here? Oh, yeah, we're plugging the steam turbines in down here. So this is going to be... This is going to be the thermo aqua tuner. So that can go around here somewhere. Oh, God. Oh, i am become arrow. Another series of uh, bridges, my lord. That should be fine. It's a good thing I actually left space out here, because I'm pretty sure we're just going to fill this entire bit with conductive wires. That's what you're running now, as far as the forest, most time by, I've had seven volcanoes around it. Really? That's wild. It's taken me almost 1,200 cycles to solve that problem. <laughs> yeah, send me a picture. I'd be really interested to see that. If I get the impression that Frozen Forest is the hardest start, and the game just doesn't say it is. Because with with uh, the flipped asteroid, at least you start in a temperate biome. Um, and there is a little tunnel out of the magma, so you can get out. It's just annoying. Uh, the radioactive ocean, at least you've got loads of water sources. Frozen Forest, I feel like you, you both struggled to survive early on, and you struggled to get going industry-wise. I don't really see the redeeming qualities of Frozen Forest other than it's blooming difficult. Right, how's that looking? Okay, that's good. So, remove this, remove this. So that's that. Let's actually priority nine this wire so we can disconnect the other stuff over here and start planning that. Let's see. So you can go here. You can go here and here. You can go here. Do you think they're ever going to change the large power transformer? I don't know why they ever decided to set it to 4 kilowatts. I feel like it completely defeats the point. Oh, is everyone going to have the, the bracken? No, because no one's delivering anything to it. That needs to be priority nine then. That's very sad. Oh, we were going to put the... Ah, uh, yes, we were going to put the vertical wind tunnels up here as well. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can start removing these buildings. Uh, are we going to actually hook those up somewhere? How much power do they use again? They use, they use 1.2 kilowatts each. Great, okay. I think we could probably fit some more up here, maybe. Maybe we just do this for now. I don't really want the dupes running past the heavy watt wire over here. But I feel like we're running out of options.
I could just seal this off and dig this out. It's probably not the worst idea in the world. I wish if they were going to have it at 4 kilowatts of conductive wire would hold 4 kilowatts of that 2 connected route going. I kind of understand them not since they drain so fast. Hmm. I'm just glad calories are going back up. I was really worried about that. Yeah, these guys are just chilling. They have no idea what to do. There's too many errands. Which is probably a sign that I need to just stop giving them errands. Am I going to? No. Yeah, fish are doing alright. I I am going to rescape this tank at some point, but I think I'm going to do that in the Easter holidays. Not... Oh, maybe I do do that in the Easter holidays. We do get Friday off. Uh, I'm probably going to write my wedding speech on a Friday. Oh, I'll, I'll have a think. <laughs> I've got a list of things to do. Right, let's zoom out. Where are all the construction priorities? Not actually that many. Power transformers overheating. Yeah, um, let's remove these. Replace them with gold amalgam. I think we built a few of them out of iron just because we lacked, lacked gold amalgam. I don't think we do anymore. No. Okay. I mean, the actual answer would be to set up a cooling network on this, but F that. Uh, they're all in the base. The robots are taking over. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this too much today. Maybe we'll come back to it at the end, but we've got plenty of stuff to do at the moment. Um, I can cancel this, and I can cancel this. I can make more Transformers. Oh, wait. I have become error. My forward planning is going really well. Right, so you can go there. Make that priority nine. And then dig this out. Yeah, that'll do. I want all the metal anyways. How are the pips doing? Are they still breaking everything? Yep. They're going crazy. They're not getting drowned. These need to be set to priority one. You grooming these guys is not doing anything. How's the loop looking? Loop is looking somewhat full of water. Do I just get you to start jumping up and down on all of these? We do at some point. Maybe once we're actually at 50 dupes, we start getting someone to jump up and down on these and produce more, produce more stuff for us. Oh, look, we got a little baby grub grub. Nice. I mean, again, the feeding access is going to start being annoying as well. You have been erupting this whole time, right? Maybe you're actually overpressured. Have you actually been sending any copper through? I don't think you have. Do we have any more uranium we can put in here? Oh, I guess we could put depleted uranium in here. That's fine. Yeah, we've got a little bit of this lying around, so let's actually just break into here quickly and grab some of that. Ugh. Put some of, some of that down there and then that can melt, because I, I don't think the volcano is actually erupting at the moment. Because there's too much steam in here. 
because historically we weren't um, consuming enough water. It's only a problem with the system. But the, the pool of uranium in the bottom stops it from overpressurizing, so that's nice. Uh, we're going to need to yellow alert this, though. Who's idle? Meep. Meep is trapped. Uh, let's see. You can priority nine these as well then. Have fun. And then Judy Pixels is also idle. Oh, you actually been geotuning this? Nice. How effective is that going to be? Who knows? So what else do I actually want you to do? Is there more bleach stone for you to dig up? There is. I think we just get you to come over here then and start digging all of this up. We'll get it back eventually. You know, he wears yellow alerts. I mean, we could just pump some of this steam out anyways, have it be a bit colder, but then this is going to turn into a tile and that's going to be annoying. You should actually end up erupting. We cleared you out. We cleared you out a minute ago. I think you should go back to normal soon. You have a little bit of petroleum down here, that's kind of amusing. Well, this is going to melt again and that should stop being an issue. Right, who's actually doing this? Quinn. Okay. Quinn is the slow one. Beep is still trapped. We're trying. We're trying to motivate uh, people to come over here. We really are. So you do actually need to build these tiles, I guess. There you go. I think we uh, yellow alert this. There you go. Fun. Because if I don't do this, the game is going to pause every 30 seconds. Yeah, there we go. We got the other puffed. Nice. That should help. Yeah, most of the water that's actually on the map is just from all of that random crap. Now, this carbon dioxide isn't actually allowing the polluted water to off-gas. Because it's too high pressure. How do I solve that issue? Maybe we move Slicksters into here? But then the oil is going to get in the way. Maybe we just move Slicksters over here? Because I think the ambient gas pressure might be such that it's it's not allowing the stuff to off gas. Loot of water has formed a nice layer. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Outside pressure does seem a little bit lower. Let's just put an airflow tile in here for now and see how it goes. Just one. Or just two, and that can let the CO2 escape. Oh, so the screenshot you asked for in Discord and tag me? Nice, I'll have a look at it in the end. Alright, guys. You guys need to actually make your mind up about who's doing this. This is not too long before the other gases are going to start creeping in here. We've got some sour gas. Nice, nice. Look, the biobots are up to it now. The 
presume you're just grabbing it from somewhere nearby. Hmm. I guess while we're waiting for this, we uh, have a look at the Discord. Already. So Arborea, not Frozen Forest. Ah, I was going to say, how do you end up with seven volcanoes on the spaced out movements? Now that looks nice though. You, you've certainly got a lot of volcanoes. These two up here as well. I like how everyone's bases look different in this game. You always get some really interesting designs. Unfortunately, the biobot is quite slow. But that's just the them's just the rules, I guess. Still waiting for everyone to do everything else. I think I would quite like to actually check the colony report and see how productive everyone's being. So travel time, 44%. Uh, work time, oh. There's so many errands, we can't actually see what's in here now. Well, that's no good. It looks like pondering is pretty high up. Looks like people have been generating power as well. Oh! Oh, we got that old chestnut again. Yeah, because we're probably not getting enough oxygen to all these suits. Because we're not enough water coming in. Hmm. Now they flower is doing it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, they flower. That didn't really seem very necessary. Right, so seal this in. Volcano will start erupting now again anyways. But yeah, man, we just need to dig. We just need to dig the whole map. That's what we need to do. And start actually clearing up this water from elsewhere. Because we've we must have let so much steam just condense across the map in general. There this honestly just seems like something we should hook up. Like, let's just come down here. Let's just let's just dig this. We do it like this. And we should be able to access all of this. Some of the water is going to spill in this bit. That's okay. So that sand can stay there. And then we can just dig that. Dig this. Dig that. Dig this. Okay. Because this is going to keep refilling from the cool steam bed anyways. So let's just put a gold amalgam pump down here. Let's put a liquid pipe going up here. Hello, Chris Atep. Hope you're doing well. We're, we're doing all right. I am. Um... Oh, man. I have been busy today. And not in the game. I mean, we are doing stuff in the game. But my focus has been elsewhere today. Right, so this is clean water. So that needs to actually get hooked onto the spawn line. So I don't think we are worried about that pipe being insulated. Let's just send it this way. Because we need to start hooking up some more water sources so they don't all go dormant at the same time again. Yeah, that should be fine. And then... I don't think that would cause any issues. So I think we're just priority nining that. I guess we priority nine this as well. Yeah, I do kind of just want to make sure that we're not actually locking our dupes out of the map because of the water shortage. Seems a bit silly having a water shortage in general in this current situation. Here you go. And then that 
pump can just go... Can I just go into this wire? I think so. Sure, why not? Yeah, please just have a go at doing all of that, please. And you can dig all of this later. You've sealed this, so the copper should actually start erupting again. We left some depleted uranium in here, apparently. That's fine. What's the gas situation here? We've got a few little gases mixed around down here. I think... So long as they're heavier than steam, I don't really care. In all honesty. Yeah, let's just took up the areas with the cool steam vents. So we've let some water trickle in here. I think I just want to dig this area out in general. So come in here and just start digging all this out. We can queue up these digs and the biobots are just going to do them for us. So not overly concerned about how uh, soon they get prioritized. But let's just try and make a clear path for the actual water. You can't actually reach any of this. Because you need to actually come down here and then you can go up here. Okay. Um, I do want to grab all of this. That's fine. And I do want to grab that as well. Oh. Oh, something just collapsed. What just collapsed? It's very funny. Um, good job, game. Here you go. We build that mesh tile. Um, biobots are en route, apparently. How many errands do we even have? Many. He's doing his best. He's, he's getting encouragement from the boss. You like to see it. Okay, you're building all this pipe fairly quickly. That's good. I do need you to actually get over here and do this. So I guess remove these tiles as well. And we'll just keep printing more dupes. I'm probably going to be less fussy about dupes. What are you up to? Are you grabbing the pinch of pepper seeds? Wait, where are we putting all the seeds? I'm still telling you to shove seeds in a room somewhere. My god, I am. Hold on. How long have you been doing this for? I don't think we overly care about this now. Make that priority one. I'm sure you can think of something better to do than that. I think that was relevant when we uh, had pips planting all the seeds. Is this really 20 tons of seeds? There's no way. No, it also contains 16 tons of lead. I was going to say, generally I fill a storage bin with lead just because they end up rewiring everything and it, if you don't do that, it just takes ages. Dracos aren't getting fed because they're not getting enough um, polluted water. Okay. Yeah, animals in general are struggling. We don't have a lot of polluted water sources. That is definitely a thing on this planet. I guess we have been consuming all the excess in here. Oh, I see what the problem is. So, because it's all flowing past these, these aren't actually getting fed as a priority anymore. So I think what I actually need to do is I need to split this. I need to make this like a fork. Stretch. Good idea. Hello, Trouble Queen. How are you doing? What have you been up to today? Oh, I need that stretch. Thank you. Oh. I feel bad. Whiskers was chasing around that Zebradania and it's having issues. Ugh. Yeah, so I think what I actually need to do is I need to bridge this here and I need to cut this off. So then half the polluted water will go into these pincher peppers and then half of it will go elsewhere. So these ones will always have some. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So you can remove all of that. Um, What's in the pod? Pod. Lightyear Frontier. That game does look fun. I'll give you that. 
Farming, decreased agriculture. Uh, athletics, yeah, that sounds good to me. Uh, you've got twinkle toes, but I think we'll just go for nails. Suit wearing nails. It's already wearing a suit. They're already wearing a suit. Uh, let's just give you supplying then. And you can prioritize all of the wearable tasks. Wearable tasks? What the fuck does that mean? Means I am sleepy. I'm not actually sleepy, I'm just... Uh, mentally... Mentally, it's been a day. I have been... I've, I have certainly done a day of report writing. And it's not over, because I'm going to do more tomorrow. Yeah, oxygen production still isn't great. What's the situation in the base? Because I imagine the level is starting to deplete a little bit. Oh, we got loads of oxygen in the base. The reality is, it's all leaking out here as well, to an extent. Probably not going to get this finished today, are you? Yeah, I am quite keen to geotune all these metal volcanoes. We did analyze this. That's good. You know what? Let's actually come in here and grab this metal as well. I could always do it more metal ore. We must have a load of biobots now. I'm seeing them everywhere. That's probably a good thing. But you require more steel? We've actually run out of steel. Deliver to this. Nobody's permitted. Well, that's no good. What does that even mean? Have I get a good nap to help relieve the mental tension? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I might have to do a short stream today. Because um, I need to get a proper amount of sleep. Because I'm probably going to have to get up early to close out all the stuff from today. Fun stuff. Well, if I can't find anything else to do a thumbnail of, I'll just get a thumbnail of the Spore Kids. Um, the ones that we're trying to deal with out here. In fact, did we actually do that? We did. Yeah, you're good now. Okay. Let's just get someone to come along and remove this now. And then uh, we've got our backup for mail option. <laughs> so who's going to do this task? No one, because it's uh, currently night time. We're going to yellow alert it. There you go, they fly. I was going to go do it. But yeah, life's going all right. I mean, to be honest, the works were going well today. It's just... It's just... Uh, I've got a lot of deadlines that are creeping up before um, before Easter holidays and before the wedding. And the work is not negotiable. It does need to be done before then. So, yeah. Not really sure what to do. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to take a week off streaming just so I can do some overtime. The thing is, well, I don't want to say too much, but there's not, there's not much of a point doing overtime after 7 o'clock with the way my company works so really it, it doesn't actually clash but I mean you only have so much mental energy right <laughs> I hope so where are you? you're here okay that's good let's get a nice uh, let's get a nice shot there you go good job Dave Flower Hey, I just realized it's they flower and they're digging the flower. There, there you go, that's pretty good, isn't it? There you go. And I'm pretty sure we got all of the pips, so... Yeah, they're not running around wild anymore. Uh, that means I can unplant all of these. So, deconstruct these, please. And then this looks like the next spot over here with the Molten Slicksters. 
I think what I would actually do in this case is I would go underneath. So we would do something like this and then we put um, some pots over here. So I think what we would actually do is make some farm tiles. And I'm doing this primarily just so we can excavate the whole area and not care about it. So I think if we do something like that, we should be fine. You know, loads of sport kids in here now. We're just flexing. <laughs> the sport kids better the, the spores better not ever actually escape. Right, airflow tile is here. Looted oxygen is here. I can see off gassing happening. It's only a matter of time before all the cum dioxide gets pushed out. There's a little bit of blue oxygen up here. Thanks mm, for the follow. I don't know. Thank you very much for follow, Chrysotep. Enjoy your fishy and froggy emotes. You have become an honorary fish. I'm not sure what that's the actual uh, title of it, but there you go. Yeah, Zebritanios have been behaving weirdly today. I think they just do that sometimes, though. I think they just get excited. Usually, I notice they get excited in the mornings. Oh, look! We got a squeaky puffed egg. Nice. We got three puffed eggs. Is your egg ratio looking? Yeah, that's good. We should start getting more variants soon. But this is good, because this means we can start getting all the bleachstone. That's going to go over here. Some Paku in my aquarium. <laughs> no. Paku are a real fish, though. They do exist. Um, and the funny thing is, in Mega Aquarium, in the freshwater expansion, you can get Paku, because they're a real fish. They seem to be the one critter that isn't genetically modified in this game. But we have platies, we have a weather loach. Things like that. Right, that wire is done. So let's just check that. So that means I can remove all of this. Which means... Yeah. Which means then we can put the transformer there and then we can connect all this up. Good. So this is a this is a producer, this is a consumer. So that is going to need to go to the thermo aqua tuna, which is here. Some more excellent planning has occurred. This may be salvageable. Oh, that's the wrong place for it anyways. Okay, uh, we'll ignore that for now. That wire actually needs to go here. So that's fine. That can go... Um, oh god. The spaghetti is real. That can go here. Although you do need to do this wire bridge immediately. Let's set everything back to party 8. There we go. So that aqua tuna is going in here. We know it's running this way. We actually made a little gap for it here that I forgot about. That's nice. And then that can just go here. Yeah, that seems good. And I'm doing this so that all of our power producers and consumers are tied to the same source. And then I can prioritize them and deprioritize them as necessary with power shutoffs. Like, we're deprioritizing our steam power so that our hydrogen all gets consumed from these spawns. Because otherwise they send hydrogen into the oxygen pipes because the design is terrible and I hate it. Right, you guys are growing a bit better now. Um, but you're still starving, so hopefully you, you manage to eat something soon. How's coal looking? Coal is going down. That is concerning. 
That is a sign that we need to get other power sources online. I mean, we did just make a load of refined carbon as well, so it probably doesn't help. Right, uh, let's see. Remove the ladders over here. Then that battery can go up here. More transformers. Um, is this at a point where we can actually build the conductive wire? Again, we're just making this out of lead. So, yeah, that can be a heavy watt conductive joint plate now, so I can go here. Okay, and then let's see. So that goes like this. This goes like this. That goes like this. This goes like this. And so on and so forth. That's good. That should help me remember what to do. Have we got water coming from over here yet? No, because we still need to build the power wire. That's fine. It's priority nine. I just told you to do everything else priority nine first. And I do actually need to do this so we can get over here. And I need to put another ladder in here by the looks of it. Okay. That's all good. What are we dumping over here? A squeaky puffler egg? Aha! Move this in here. We have two of them there. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Yeah, we've got more puffler eggs as well. That's good. I'm not expecting we're going to end up with any prince eggs until we get the squeaky ones in here on their own and then we'll get a puffed prince. Same with the dense ones. Yeah, this room's filled up with oxygen right away. Looks like we are producing enough oxygen again. Maybe. Not 100% sure. Be sh Gotta love them. Right, um, I'm gonna investigate this pump. This needs a hydro sensor, but we uh, didn't have the foresight to do that. Oh, whatever. The poor fish. Uh, we did seal all of this off. This is now geotuned. So we are going to start just melting everything over here. So how do we actually get in here? There's more polluted water on the map we could grab. We'd have to come in this way. We'd have to set it up in such a way that... You know, I don't think I care. I don't think I care tonight, sorry. You gonna finish off this wire, Mr. Biobot? Who's got these wires under control? Well, I don't think we're going to get this finished today because we're setting up all the transformer infrastructure so we can actually do that stuff. Um, so we've got the aqua tuner plugged in here and then we've got two more that we can have the vertical wind tunnels plugged into, maybe? We just looked it up quickly. Probably not the highest priority of my list. No, let's get all the other stuff done first. Once we get the Geotuner done, we'll actually have enough power to hopefully run them. Are you filling this with um, Rakeen now? Yeah, I think everyone's used it though. That's fine. Uh, I think... You know what? I am going to get you to drive all this. This could be priority 5. then this is going to be rec room. I'm not sure exactly what's going to stay here. But I think this is generally what we're going for. What's 
the radiation level at, like over here? Yeah, that's not too bad. That's I feel like the lead tiles have successfully contained this satellite for the most part. Now it's mostly just on germ patrol. I just feel like the dupes are way less productive than they say they are. And I'm just sad that we can't actually see the Ponder Errand. But it looks like it's taking up, like, a lot of their time. And is this glitched, or are you actually just straight up not refilling us? Oh no, you are refilling us. Just slowly. That's good. Who's idle? You're idle. Again. Okay. Um, well, I do want you to come in here. But I don't want all the water to escape. So here's what we do. We dig uh, a ladder up here. Dig a ladder. Yes, that's great. And then... When does this go dormant? Oh, that goes dormant in 1.2 cycles? That's probably not even a problem then. Oh, I mean, that is a problem because we obviously don't have any polluted water. I think we just come over here then and we just seal it up again. Yeah, we'll just do something like that. And then you can actually grab all the gold amalgam while you're here. Uh, there isn't slime lung over here, so we do want to be careful with this. There is a load of polluted water out here, but then all that gas is going to escape into space, which I don't particularly want. I think we just dig all of this out. I think that's the plan. Uh, so just dig all of this out, and then there's a little bit over here you can dig with the snow. And I think that'll do. And then you need to put a hydro sensor on here and set that to 50 kilograms. Yeah, let me know when you've done that. Also, I could do some research, I guess. How many databanks do we have? None. We used them all. Well, that's probably fine. Uh, you also need to actually dig this time. There you go. How close is this to actually operating? Looks like you just need to do this bit now. Is it actually Friday 9? It is. Well, that's good. Picking up seeds. Oh, an oxyfern seed. Okay, well that's something we actually do want to plant, so <laughs> I can't really disparage you for that one. Yeah, you can keep doing all this stuff. Yeah, that's all good. Come with that. I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to keep filling out this base up with dupes. And we'll see what shakes out of that. I'm sure it's going to result in everyone pondering more than they need to. Uh, maybe I just get you to attack these guys again? I don't know. I mean, the other ones are high priority, so to be honest, I guess Joshua can spend his time doing that. <laughs> Stupid pips. Oh wow, everyone's on the wheels. Because all of the suit docks aren't running now. Okay, that's the problem. Because you're all consuming all the oxygen here in the meantime. Oh, Biobot, are you on the way to do this? Sinister Plank is. Well, once we get this water pumping out of here, that should solve the issue. 
So I'm not too fussed that everyone's getting some athletics training for now. Right. So that's now pumping. Good. Now, we will actually get some salt water in this. So... Let's see. I think we do this. And then we put a sensor here. An event. I'm really enjoying this combo on this run where everything's so blim and messy. The so priority nine all of this. But we'll do that after we've got the initial water out because. Because we just need the initial water. Oh, this pipe is filling now? Oh, this is filling from somewhere. I guess we're boiling some stuff after all. That's good. Oh yeah, the aluminium volcano is running again. Good. Yeah, this is running. This is covered in uranium now. I think we really just need to have a layer of uranium on the bottom of all of these. And I'll do this in future. I'll just put the layer there. I do quite like doing it with the aqua tuners. But... It does use a lot of transformers. Because each thermo aqua tuner requires its own transformer. We're kind of running out of space to put them all. And I'm sure that's getting in the way of everyone's access as well. So... This is near the bottom of the fire pole. I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet. We're gonna break the fire pole here. We're gonna put a tra and we're gonna send the transit tube up this way. Actually, let's break it up the top. It's fine. We'll start actually using the transit tubes to get people up to the top of the map and back down again, I think. Uh, so let's actually do that. Good, I think I left most of this clear. Oh, and then we got this bracking thing in the way. Oh. Maybe just put an exit over here for now. I don't know. This could be party five, I guess. Let's keep grabbing the salt water, please. You're building all these temperature plates now. That's good. And maybe just have an exit here for now. That's not a huge priority. This has ended up filling with water somehow. Yeah, we should be getting more oxygen again. How's it going on the other planets? So you're still erupting. You have built all of this. I would like you to get over here and do this, which means we need to build a tile here and dig this. We are losing a little bit of eruption over here, but it's all getting collected down here, so it's fine. Looks like all of this water is now melting because the brine is coming out at uh, 70C. Well, that's fine. Did actually want to melt all of this ice. That being said, I probably want you to come and dig all of this out as well. Yeah, here you go. The new guys can actually uh, filter any polluted water that ends up down here. Very slowly. This is going to start overflowing any second, especially because this is uh, Geotune. This is producing a lot of salt water. Now. Oh, I'm sure we're going to have lots of issues there again. What are you doing? Yeah, you're still dormant. 
What's the digging been going over here anyways? Looks like we've got some natural Escher shenanigans going on over here. We dug out some more of this. Yeah, how am I going to get all the regular water out of this area? I guess we could dig all of this. That would help, probably. Okay, you're building that vent. That's good. So then we can just hook this up this way. So, oh, we need a knot gate. So if it's not water, it gets vented. So knot gate goes here and then cancel this and reconnect it like this. Ah, apologies. It's not very action packed today. But that's fine. You guys like lurking anyways. Right, let's have a thing. So this transformer that's going down here, that is going to need a power shut off. So that is going to have to go like this. And then this is going to need to be a smart battery. So I yellow alert that so I don't forget about it. And then... Power shut off here, and then just some automation wire. How's that going? Not too bad. Do I even need this filter anymore? All the salt water that's on the map should be just coming from here now. I mean, it could be coming from here, but that's all pure as well. Or it should be. I should set this up with a hydro sensor too. Yep. Right, so you can go here. We'll yellow alert you again. So I don't forget about you. Don't you forget about me. Puffs in space. You guys up to? I don't want you to do this. Oh, you are doing this. Okay, that's good. You're not scolding because there's loads of cold water here from earlier. It's probably fine then. Uh, that's supposed to be polluted water that is now running through here and choking all the plants. Great. This is supposed to be brine. Well, that's sending fresh water now to all of the plants that want polluted water. Great. So it looks like it starts here. I mean, that's not bad because we do actually want regular water as well. I'll be honest. But I think what we'll do instead is... Oh god, what are we even going to do? We have too many of these sodding pipes going everywhere. So this is the water output from this steam vent. Also, I'm glad this coolant loop actually filled up properly on its own. I was a little worried about that. So I think what we do is we just put our normal sensor combo on here. But I think we make it a shut off instead. So liquid pipe element. And then... Shut off. No, a liquid shut off. Someone's idle, I know, but I just want to get this done. And I can go up here for now. Again, you can probably, probably nine this. Right, you're trapped. I see. <laughs> it's also icy. It's a pun. How are you going to get out of here? 
Right, here's what you're going to do. You're going to remove this tile. And then you're going to build, use that to build a ladder to get out of here. There you go. Very ingenious. So you need to be set to above 50. About well, this one as well. Have you done this one yet? No. It's probably nine this. What are you doing? You're grabbing construction materials. Is that where the nearest lead is? I guess it is in this case, because it's the automation wire. Alright, alright, I'll stop making fun of the robots. Who's trapped? You're trapped. Again. Okay, so dig this. And then how are we gonna get you out of here? I think you just need to dig this. And then you can escape through the chlorine vent, maybe? I'm not a huge fan of this. I think it's probably acceptable though. This liquid shouldn't all just go everywhere, I don't think, because there's liquids backed up to hell and back. This backer was just confused, it's just like, well, I found this cave system and I don't know what liquids are in it, but I'm enjoying it regardless. Down here, just a load of seeds. Okay. Well, you should be able to get out of here. Right? Do you not actually build that? Do you not have any igneous rock to build with? Somehow? Or is this someone else's errand? Oh no, the biobot is on his way to do it instead. Okay, great. <laughs> I feel like that's probably. Not the wisest choice. Who else is idle? No one. It's just you. Okay. What's going on? Are we getting more blue oxygen? I guess we are. You're slowly building all of this. It is taking a while. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, I feel like this is going too slowly now. I'm getting bored. Gene's waiting for the biobot to rescue him. Can you not just rescue yourself? Can I actually get you to do this? Instead. There you go. <laughs> you don't need to take up the biobot's time to do this one. Thank you. When are we going to get our first dense puff then? We've got three squeaky puff legs now. And no dense puffs. It's kind of funny. Also, you guys are all running on these wheels instead of doing these. I guess, oh, you don't have the materials. Can I actually just like priority six these? Or even priority. You know what, Sod? I'm going to priority nine these. Get jumping on these. What's in the pot? We got an anemic doctor. Uh, I don't think we want any of these guys. No. No dupe there today. I don't know. I feel like this base has just gone unwieldy. I keep checking for the fast track mod as well, and 
I don't think it's available at the moment to download. I wonder when they're actually going to straight up start releasing it via Steam. Yeah, these can go here. Also, I completely forgot to actually set that smart battery, didn't I? Yeah, so that should be set to... I think I forgot to set a few of these. So this one is going to... Oh god, is this going to the wrong place? I think it is. Uh, yeah, that's supposed to be supposed to be a different wire. I am glad I spotted that now. Yeah, that's supposed to be just steam turbines. So that all needs to get cut off. So I guess, I guess this is going here. So none of that stuff has been working. And then this needs to come down here. Okay. And that needs to be priority nine. I think the reason why it feels like things are going so slowly is because people are trapped in the base at the moment. They're handing out all the balloons. It's good. Get them to murder more of these guys. Got unreachable food. You do. Because you can't escape. No, you... Oh, you can't escape because you built that tile. I see. Build a ladder here. Okay, that's all coming in here. That's fine. How hot is this? It's not super hot anymore. It's probably fine. So what about the shut-off thing over here? Where do we put that? Here. Okay, that needs to go to a power wire, so it needs to go to that one. I think. Yeah. Then this needs to be set to... If it detects water, then it goes in here. And then that should be fine. And then we can open this pipe up again. Get some more water in this place. I mean, the thing is, right, so if we look at this base, I think I like most things we did in this base in principle, but it's just not running very well on a classic asteroid with 50 dupes. The only thing I think I definitely got wrong was the, puff, uh, the pips in the dropper. That definitely isn't helping. I think the shuffles are actually behaving. Uh, the other complaint I have is that the trun... So we put the transformer spine in the center of the map because I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room to access it for wires on all, side, all sides. But the issue with that is it then forms a giant obstacle across the map, so your loops have to go around it to get anywhere else. So... To be honest, it was probably better to do is to put it on the side of a map and then just leave a load of space in front of it. Like literally, build it on the side of the map where you're not doing anything and then you just have loads of space to lead wires out and it doesn't matter. But I think that's a bit less relevant on Spaced Out anyways. Um, on the... On the movements. Uh, you need to dig this. There you go. Can you actually reach that? No? I'm sure you can. Uh, 
I stop people from being able to get over here? I have. No, I haven't. That, that fire pole still works. No, we're getting water again. You, you guys should be fine. You should start leaving the base again fairly soon. Mm. Oh, Max is here. That's good. Okay. So that's set to water. So now that means I can hook this pipe up and it should be fine. I should stop yellow alerting everything. Uh, shit. He didn't build the thing. Okay. I seriously don't believe that you can't reach that. There you go. <laughs> now Biobot is doing it. Okay, so the issue is... The issue with the Biobots is, yes, they come and do the errors, but they're slow as sin. So if you're doing a classic asteroid, it takes forever for them to get anywhere. That being said, this is a Biobot. Maybe they're going to do it. No. no, 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 they are. It looks like they're doing it. I'm sorry for doubting you. Have fun, Biobot. Oh, there you go. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Right. There you go. So now we're getting water through this. But now the issue is the water is going back here. So I actually need to put a bridge here. Uh, so that needs to go here. And that needs to go here, and I guess... I guess do it like that. There you go. Uh, looks like we can put a transformer here as well. No. Why not? Oh, because the ladder is still here. Okay, fine. Are you all delivering mud? There you go. Someone's going to get on this then. I mean, we should be producing mud in these conveyor receptacles, but I don't think the sweetles are... Are you not eating enough yet to fill these? You are... Yeah, you are tame, you are groomed, you are eating. We are collecting mud from here, right? Yes. And then this one needs to be going here. Is this one set to mud? Yes. I guess they already did it then. Well, we've got five rug rub eggs in here now. These guys should start speeding up soon. And I'm glad that we're not ending up with, with any rug rub eggs in here. We're not ending up with any sweet legs in here. So it shows that automation is working correctly. Yeah, none of these suit dogs have any oxygen. I guess you're just filling up the base again. Uh, you can't actually get in here anymore because you need to build a ladder here. Okay. You're working again now. That's good. 
Okay, we should be getting plenty of water again now. Looks like some regular water managed to get through here somehow. Probably because it backed up on the pipe somehow. Maybe. Mm. Nah, I'm sorry. This is going too slowly. <laughs> I, I am, I am losing my patience. To be honest, we might come back to this at some point. Um, but oh, I'm not feeling it tonight. I'm not really feeling it tonight. Let's do a summary of this run in case we we end up stopping it. So, what do we do well? So. We, let's see. Critters, I think we generally did pretty well. The um, pips being the exception, we need to do them like we do the Drekos with the Wrangle drop-offs. Shove bowls, we learned about shove bowls. We used the classic spawn and realized that we hated it, so that's good. Um, we got good at using these Thermo Aquatuna Volcano Tamers, which is nice. We're doing some more stuff with pips or puffs. Um, I haven't really concluded that yet. I never found something to actually exchange the heat into. I think, the, yeah, I think that the problem I'm finding is I'm just getting way too unfocused on these big maps. And there's just so much stuff going on everywhere. And then it just lags and then I end up getting nothing done. Or it feels like I end up getting nothing done. But you're finally doing all of this. That's funny. Yeah, um, this I think went pretty well as well. I think we managed to optimize this pretty well. Well, I say optimize. We just shoved a load of spore kids down here. We figured out what it takes to get this running efficiently. I think this will be an asset for future runs. We didn't really get much blue oxygen out of this. No, I think it went all right. And I think we proved that we can, we can start a map we could start a playthrough without using the liquid locks and the submerged electrolyzer and trick gas vents like we normally do. We didn't really touch too much on these other exploits like the Escher waterfalls. We didn't really do any infinite storages. We didn't really have any need to do infinite storages, but I think we probably would have and it would have helped contain these liquids and it would have helped make things a bit easier, less micromanagement annoying. Um, a lot of these exploits I probably wasn't going to get around to doing anyways. Yeah, I think it went alright. I think I'm going to leave this run here for now. Um, I will upload this VOD. It's a bit of a short one. But I'll upload it for completeness. And then we'll start the new run on Wednesday and then we'll see how that starts going. I think. Do I want to do anything? Do I want to do anything else tonight? Maybe I do. No, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to get ready for bed cuz I have to get up early tomorrow. All right. Well, apologies for that. I'm I'm just getting impatient to be honest. <laughs> Usually it's when a run gets to the point where it gets to speed 1 and things are happening too slowly. I'm kind of losing patience, which isn't good. But it is a thing. I might just try and stick to the Moonlit playthroughs for now. Because that's why I know I can run more quickly and it will keep me more focused. I want to test that theory. I still think Flip Farters was the best series we did because it was on Moonlits and we were really focused. We only stopped it because we kind of achieved our goal and we didn't want to go too much further with the Farters. But I think if with this Frozen Forest run, I think we'll just do it to the end. But we'll see how far we can get before performance starts to be an issue. Hopefully... Hopefully never. Again, I think we'll probably keep it to about 10 dupes per asteroid, like we did on Flip Farters. We're not going to try and end it by bringing all the dupes to one asteroid, even though that was very funny. But I really just want, from now on, I want to focus my stream runs on a playthrough that I am going to get all the way to the end, so we can actually look at all this new stuff. Because I've really noticed this cycle of me enjoying the early game, doing, doing stuff that's fun, 
uh, ramping up the performance debt and then just <laughs> and then just not really getting any further and i want to break out of that cycle so we're going to do that but thanks for watching um if you like what you've seen feel free to follow on twitch and you'll get a notification when i go live it's 7 30 to 10 30 uh british time daylight savings is this weekend so i might shift a bit next week but that's daylight savings not me trying to shift my times and all the vods are on youtube uh we might come back to this run but i kind of doubt it based on how i've been feeling tonight but i th i think i think it's been all right and then discord is there as well we all like to hang out on discord and post builds and memes and things and yeah i think that's basically it so i'm gonna go find some raid and get some sleep and I should have more time to do some prep tomorrow, and we'll find a good seed and we'll go from there. I did post a seed on the... Oh, wow, the Pleco's going nuts. I did post a seed on the Discord that I was thinking of. I might have a look around a few more seeds and see what I notice. But uh, we're going to go raid Lumen, because they raided me a while ago, and I want to repay the favor. So if you have any fishy sentiments or froggy sentiments <laughs> or emotes, feel free to send them uh, Lumen's way. Looks like they're on a new run. Uh, they've got some bathrooms set up that they seem to be quite proud of. <laughs> so, yes, we'll go say hi to them. But thanks for hanging out. Thanks for putting up with me tonight, because I realize we haven't really done anything interesting tonight. Um, and, yeah. See you tomorrow. New run. Bye for now.